Hi, I'm Lori Little with PMC Real Estate, your realtors, your neighbors, your friends. And today I'd like to talk to you about appraisals and why you need to know about them if you're buying or selling a home. But before we begin, if you're looking to buy a home, press the home search button for more information. And if you want to know the value of your home or are looking to sell in the future, press the free home price evaluation button. Now back to our topic. So if you're buying or selling a home, knowing about appraisals is very important. And over the last, I don't know, five, six years, the appraisers have really been held to the wire and their life has really changed on what they can do and how they process an appraisal. And that really affects you if you're buying a home or if you're trying to sell your home. So I thought it was important to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you look at so you're prepared when you are buying or selling. So. Number one, the first thing that an appraiser is gonna look at is the location. Where is this home located? Is it in a neighborhood? If it's in a neighborhood, they're gonna to wanna to use homes that are in that specific neighborhood. They don't wanna go across town to something different. They wanna look for something right there. Um, if they have to go out because they can't find enough comps, they might go out about a mile or so, but anything further than that, typically that's not something they're going to do. Number two is square footage. In this situation, size does matter. And you can't go with a home that's a lot bigger just to try and get a value there. Same thing for a lot smaller. So what an appraiser does do is they look at homes based on the price that they sold. They do not look at the price per square feet. And oftentimes, as a seller, you might consider that. So we have to be mindful of that when setting a price as well as a buyer when you're making an offer on that home. If the square footage, they can't get something like within 10%, smaller or larger, they might extend that and go maybe up to 15, 20% if necessary, but they're gonna always start smaller, close to that same size of the subject property. The third thing is the age of the property. If you're dealing with a property that's you know, brand new versus one that's built in the 80s or the 70s, they don't consider those comparables. So, when you're looking at those new homes that just sold, that have just been built, we can't use those in an appraisal situation. But a couple other things to think about that could affect the value of your home is if you're in a unique area, a rural area, have a large yard or even a custom home, sometimes those can give some value to the property and it allows the appraiser to make some adjustments that they might not typically have in a traditional neighborhood. So keep that in mind, if you do have upgrades in your home or you've done a renovation, have numbers available to share with the appraiser so they know what that value is. We never get the exact amount back, but just knowing what that value is, that might help them give you a little boost on that appraisal. So I hope today you were able to get some good information from the topic. If you have any questions for us, either about appraisals or something about real estate, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.